Brian, we're here along Windsor Avenue in Plainfield, Connecticut, a few blocks from where the fire broke out. Here's what we do know. The fire started just before 11 p.m. with a mother and her two children, her 18-month-old 18 18-month 18 baby boy and her six-year-old baby girl. Two cops were the first to arrive on the scene, and when they did arrive, they saw a house with thick black smoke pouring out of it. They were forced to go in one of the bedroom windows to find the mother and the baby boy inside. In attempts to get them out, they were forced to go back to that window for fresh air due to the thick smoke. They did end up getting those, the mother and the baby out, but unfortunately the six-year-old girl was found dead in her room because of the fire. Now, the father during this time was at the neighbor's house down the street when the fire broke out. What we did find out though was Habitat for Humanity just built this house for this family a little while ago. They just moved in this past July. And back to the mother and the baby, they are in the hospital right now in critical condition. And the first two police officers to arrive were treated for smoke inhalation and then later released. It is early in the investigation, so when we know the cause of the fire, we will let you know. Stay tuned to QNN. I'm Matthew Batten. Brian, we are right outside Windsor Avenue where a fire broke out last night. Now officials are keeping us just a few blocks away, as you can see by the caution tape. We do know that the fire broke out at around 10.43 last night. There was a mother and her two children, an 18-month-year-old son and a six-year-old daughter stuck inside the house. Someone called 911. Two officers showed up to the scene first. They expressed that there was a, quite a lot of smoke coming from the house. They were actually able to break into the home through a window in the back. It took quite a few attempts, however. They had to keep on going back to the window to get air. After they were rescued, more officials came and were able to put out the fire. However, the six-year-old daughter was found dead in her bedroom. The husband, at the time of the fire, was actually at a neighbor's house a few houses down. QNN has been notified that this house was just built this past June by Habitat of Humanities. The family did not move in until July. This is a brand new home. Now, the mother and her son are getting treated in the hospital right now. The mother is in critical condition and the son is in serious condition. Both cops that rescued them are also getting treated at the hospital for smoke inhalation. Now, this is an ongoing investigation, so the cause of the fire has not been determined yet. And the name of the family has actually not even been released. When we find out more information, we will let you know. Blaney Barentine, QNN. Brian, right now we're along the street of Windsor Avenue, where we're blocked off from traffic. The house is a couple blocks down from us. You can still see emergency vehicles right behind us. But here's what we know from police. A call came in last night saying that there was a fire around 10.45 p.m. There was two children and a mother trapped inside the house, an 18-month-year-old boy and a six-year-old daughter found inside. The mother and the daughter were trapped in their bedroom and pol two police officers came to the house and had to break down that window in order to get inside to the, to the mother and the, and the child. In that room, the, as the police officers entered, there was um, breathing for air back and forth. The police officers, there was a lot of heavy smoke and dense air. What we do know is that the little girl was found upstairs. Unfortunately, she, she did die. The father was not present at the time and as well as he was down the street just from his house celebrating a birthday party. In July, the father and the mother and their um, children, actually the house was built for them by Habitat of Humanity. Uh, this mother is now in serious condition and the little boy is in critical condition and the two police officers are suffering from serious smoke inhalation. I'm Courtney Cartwright, stay with Q30 News for developing details.